All right, um, so on Friday, I think it was, Tucker Carlson uh, was uh, interviewed by Joe Rogan, went on Joe Rogan's show for a three-hour long interview. Now, I haven't watched the whole thing, but the, the uh, interview did generate a few real gems. I mean, gems that get you a little bit more into the mind, if you can call it that, of Tucker Carlson. And I will say, I, I think what I'm about to say it is kind of part of a, 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 a an interesting bigger story about how irrationality only gets worse, how the irrationality affects everything and and really makes you a little nuts. Uh, anyway, uh, on the show, I guess the conversation between Tucker Carlson and Joe Rogan got onto aliens or something like aliens or UFOs or something like that. <laughs> and... Um, Anyway, this is what Takakasa said. He says, they've been here for thousands of years. It's pretty clear to me that they're spiritual entities or supernatural. Uh, he continued to say, there's a ton of evidence, a ton of evidence, that they're under the ocean and under the ground. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So there you have it. According to Tucker Carlson, they are spiritual, supernatural beings. Maybe, I don't know, let's call them gremlins who live in the ocean and under the ground. And according to Tucker Carlson again, there is a ton of evidence, a ton of evidence that uh, they actually exist. This is Tucker Carlson. This is like the number one talk show host TV hosts in the in the world, right? Um, so I don't know what is the difference between Tucker Carlson. What's the guy's name who does the conspiracy theory BS? Um, a- anyway, what's what's the difference anymore? I guess zero. Uh, Elon Musk felt the need uh, since I guess he has, in the past has defended Tucker Carlson in a variety of different ways. Felt the need to step into this because after all, Elon Musk is, after all, a alien expert. And uh, he uh, tweeted that I have seen no evidence for a- aliens. And with 6,000 satellites orbiting Earth, I think I would know. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't think there's any commentary necessary other than to say if you had not thought Tucker Carlson was nuts, well, now hopefully you believe me. I've been saying this for a long, long time, that he's really bad, really nuts, and a lot of people didn't believe me, and now basically Tucker Carlson is Alex Jones. There is no difference between them. Uh, So there you go. This is what happens when you go on that sliding slope away from reality as you descent from reality, your mind just goes splish, and it's gone. There's nothing there. Uh, there was one other gem that came out of the Tucker Carlson interview with Joe Rogan, where Joe Rogan actually came out to be, uh, I guess, the saner of the two. Um, uh, somebody, somebody tweeted, Tucker Carlson said shit so dumb that even Joe Rogan couldn't go along with it. So <laughs> there you go. Um, Anyway, Tucker Carlson uh, basically said that um, he's given up. That No, not he, not he. If he'd said just he given up, that, that would be one thing. Tucker Carlson basically said during the interview that scientists had, quote, given up on the idea of evolution, unquote. Scientists had given up on the idea of evolution. Um, Rogan came back and said, you know, but it's it's kind of visible. Like you can measure it in certain animals. He's talking about evolution. This is how, Tucker, this is how Rogan rolls, right? So Tucker Carlson, in, in response, alleged, you know, that adaptations could be measured, but the theory of evolution, as articulated by, science, by Darwin, was just not true, and the scientists knew this already. Uh, he, he, he says, I have lots of dogs. I see adaptation in dogs through litter to litter, but no, there's no evidence at all, none, zero, that people evolved seamlessly from a single-cell amoeba. 
No, there's not. There's no chain in the fossil record of that at all. Um, so, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, so, you know, basically saying, that's it. I mean, uh, uh, evolution is dead, and uh, the scientists know this. And then he goes on to say uh, that he believes, quote, God created people distinct and animals, distinctly and animals. He created people and animals. Um, and, he sa- and he continued, quote, I think that's like what every person on earth thought until the 19th century, actually. So, Rogan, you can tell two, these are two Nobel Prize winners uh, speaking to one another about evolution. So Rogan goes, right, but they didn't have computers. They didn't have a general understanding that we have today of the process. Carlson go, do you think we understand more now? And Rogan says, yeah, I do. <laughs> so, so Tucker Carlson gets some pushback from Joe Rogan. <laughs> I mean... Tucker Carlson, uh, I mean, he's a nut. He's a complete nut. Um, uh, we've got, uh, you know, uh, aliens, spiritual aliens, supernatural aliens under the oceans and under the ground. And, uh, whoops. Under the ocean and under the ground. And there's a, by the way, just so you know, there's a ton of evidence a ton of evidence showing this. <sighs> I don't know. What do, you, what do you do with that? What do you do? I mean, this is the state of the world in which we live. This is the state of the intellectual debate in which we live. Uh, and uh, there are those who are going to defend Tucker no matter what, uh, but because he's anti-left, don't forget. But the reality is that the the right the the MAGA right is about as ignorant and anti-intellectual and anti-facts and reality as one can get. Right? They're, they're not quite as evilly demented as the left, but they are just. At, but they're dumber. They're a lot dumber. And Tucker Carlson, who used to be smart, has now embraced. Being stupid is embraced dumbness as uh, part of what he is.